Hello everyone, it's Patricia and today it's Tester Tuesday. And if you're new to my channel, basically what I like to do is review two Scentsy scents with you guys each week, but you guys have the say because you guys get to vote on which scents that we warm. And everybody votes and I tally the votes and the top two scents make it in. So this week we had two retired scents make it in, so we're gonna try to go through this video quickly. But in first place, and it was very tight for the first, uh, I think, four scents. In first place, with a mossy green colored wax, I happen to have a bar. It is Cactus Flower Lime. That had 22% of the vote. And in second place, I have my used up wax from my three mini testers, which is a nice red wax, pomegranate pear, 21% of the vote. So the order, in case you're interested, it went Cactus Flower Lime, then Pomegranate Pear, then we had a tie for third. It was Caramel Vanilla Delight and Frosted Ginger Cookie. Then we had Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, just one vote after those, two cents. And then at the end, we had Bergamot and Solar Driftwood. And every scent got a fair amount of votes this week, so that was nice to see. In first place, Cactus Flower Lime. So on cold, I would say this is pretty soft and it is a retired scent. I would kind of put it in a spa category or a fresh category. It was a new release back in the spring and summer of 2016 and that was it, it did not come back. And is that foreshadowing? I don't know. <laughs> so the scent description for Cactus Flower Lime, it says, Zen beckons like a siren's song from this crisp meditative blend of lime mist, water lotus, green tea and delicate aloe leaf. So we have lime, water lotus, which is a floral kind of vibe, green tea, and aloe leaf. And now I'm not a tea drinker at all and I don't even really know if I know what green tea smells like except for my daughter bought powdered green tea and she hated it. So, But what I get from this, to me the lime kind of comes across in this scent almost like a cleaner style lime. You know how lemon can be like lemon or like a cleaner style lemon. This comes off as a cleaner type lime. And there's also like an herbal sage tone to it. That's what I get. If you've watched my channel at all, you know I'm not a big fan of sage-like scents. So for me, I would say scent appeal is probably like six out of 10. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I only had one mini tester of this, but I knew I had a bar, so that's kind of why I used my mini tester. So I took my mini tester and one cube and put it down in my mudroom laundry room. I put two cubes in this room and two cubes in my daughter's room. And I'm not gonna get into each specific room, I'm just gonna kind of summarize. Strength and throw, six and a half to seven, all three locations. Longevity is where we get into trouble. I would say for the first four to five hours, I could smell it, it was fairly noticeable in the room. Then all of a sudden it just went away. <laughs> and it was really hard, you, you know, you couldn't really pick it up. So I'd go up close to the warmer, I could smell it like if I was hovering over the warmer, but that's it. So I was like, well, that that's kind of a dud. <laughs> I left it in my daughter's room 24 hours just to see. When I took it out, the wax was like so dead as a doornail, it wasn't even funny. So yeah, this one was pretty underwhelming. It was not a good performer in my opinion. I don't think you should have subpar wax return, which is probably why this did not make a comeback. The other thing I would say is it left a weird residue on the bottom of the dish, almost like a sticky residue, and I felt like maybe all the scent oils were down there and they couldn't make it up. I have no idea. I picked this up on a flash sale I would not repurchase it if I saw it in another flash sale and I would not be voting it back and bring back my bar. To try to approximate this, I don't really know if you could. You could maybe try Mojito Mambo and then white, um, white tea and cactus together, but I think you'd still be missing that like herbal, sage kind of note. To me, it reminds me of a spa scent, but not like one of those spa scents is like bright, clean, crisp green type scents, more like those herbal concoctions that they try to convince you are really healthy, but you know that it just doesn't smell the greatest. In my opinion, that's what I get. So that is cactus flower lime. So let's move on to scent number two. It is pomegranate pear. So I had three mini testers and this dish is from my youngest child's room. He has a color of the rainbows warmer, which is a lampshade warmer. So I decided to put it in his warmer. Now his room is the smallest room of the house. On cold, I would say this scent was fairly soft. It's a nice vibrant red. It's a retired scent. It was a fall and winter scent. It first came out in 2014, returned in 2015 for the fall and winter season, and then it was over, didn't come back. And I would probably put it in a fruity category if I had to put it in one. 
So the scent description for pomegranate pear, it's basically sweet nashy pear garnished with violet petals, pomegranate seeds, and curls of orange zest. So we have nashy pear as one of the scent notes. Now that is actually an Asian pear. And an Asian pear to me kind of looks like an apple and it reminds me of more of an apple than a pear. But it, it has like a kind of a, from my memory of eating it a while ago, it doesn't have a ton of flavor. It's very crisp and juicy and kind of refreshing but not a ton of flavor, and the flavor is a delicate kind of flavor, a complex, delicate flavor. Um, pears that we would traditionally eat would be more sweet and more noticeable in fragrance, and this is more lighter and complex in fragrance and taste. Do I get a lot of Nashi pear? Not really. I think maybe some of the complex floral notes I kind of pick up. The second scent note was violet petals. I get about a third of that. Pomegranate, yes, I get about two-thirds of that. Orange zest, I don't get any. So basically I get like the tangy, sweet tart tangy, wine-like vibrancy of pomegranate with violet petals. And as it warms, the pomegranate slowly leaves and you're left with the violet petals. I left this in for 32 hours over a two day time frame, and then I removed it. So it lasted a fairly long time to me. Strength and throw maybe seven and a half out of 10, but that, like I said, that's in the smallest bedroom in my son's, my son's room is the smallest one in the house. And I would say scent appeal, I think I forgot to say what it was. Oh no, I did. Uh, scent appeal for this is probably, I don't know, like seven out of 10. I'm not huge into fruity scents, they're okay for me. Um, for fall and winter, there's not a lot of, um, there's no like tree notes to this. I find pomegranate and cranberry, they tend to bring in at uh, fall and winter catalog. But if you were gonna try to approximate this, I had I thought about it, obviously you're gonna start with perfectly pomegranate. And then you would think lilacs and violets, but that's a bit too sweet. I find um, these two work probably closer. Poppy fields with perfect, perfectly pomegranate, but yeah, if you wanted to try it, you could, you could do that. I don't think I would repurchase this and I don't think I'd go to back and bring back my bar, but I'm very happy to report it did a lot better than the other one. This one was a dud. Anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna get to drawing for the two cents and I don't actually have to draw this week because we have six cents left in the box. Now, that doesn't mean Tester Tuesdays are over. It just means that starting next week, we're gonna bring back all the ones that I have in a huge drawer set aside that hadn't made the cut. So we'll get to see cents come back. And also my sponsor is going through some of her older testers because I have a couple mini testers of old scents. If I can get more of those, I would have enough to kind of do a warming. But anyway, we'll see. But I put them in alphabetical order. So the first one is Candy Dandy. The second one only has one mini tester, but I have a bar of this and it's Citrus Garden. Scent number three, again, I have a bar of it. Custard Apple. Scent number four, I also have a partial bar. Ivy and Water Lily. Scent number five, I know what's in here because I peeked. It is French Lavender. And again, one lone little mini tester, but I have a bar and it's pretty and plum. So quickly to go over your voting options, Candy Dandy, Citrus Garden, Custard Apple, Ivy and Water Lily, French Lavender, and Pretty and Plum. Thanks for spending the last eight minutes with me, nine minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I will see you in the next video.